Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Code Ray, and today I wanted to share with you guys the best free student resource I have for developers and programmers. So whether you are currently a student who is in computer science or you're in engineering or you're thinking about going to programming, this resource is for you. As long as you have a school address or a school email address, you can still use this free developer pack. So as a student, I remember having such a hard time transitioning into computer science because I was originally in pre-med. And I remember there was so many different languages and technologies being thrown at my face. It was super confusing to navigate through all of them. And it was just really confusing like where to start or how do I even begin. And there were a lot of things about the web that I just didn't know about. And there was just not really anyone out there to like provide a comprehensive list of all the technologies that I could use. So this ranged from stuff like how to host a website to how to create a website website and I remember when I started off as a programmer I didn't really know exactly what code was or how to run code and so basically I thought that you actually had to code on top of a Word document and somehow transcribe that Word document and then run it through some sort of other server in order to have it work it was super confusing I'm not exactly sure what I was thinking but I just didn't know that there was stuff called IDEs and if you don't know what an IDE is it's basically just a platform where you can code and run your code also when I did become a better engineer I actually needed to technologies to use in order to basically host websites to maybe create a startup or maybe create my own personal portfolio and that was quite confusing to me because the stuff they teach in college classes don't really teach you how to make a lot of these things on your own for my college specifically they taught me how to do a lot more theory based things so essentially it was just doing proofs and also doing comprehensive algorithms so it wasn't really more on the actual practical side of actual making technologies and making websites and when I did traverse the web in order to basically learn learn a lot of these things for myself. A lot of this information was scattered and there wasn't really a single place for a lot of these technologies to show up where I can see like, oh, this is what I can do with this or this is what I can do with that. Basically, I was looking up through different websites um, and a lot of these places offered paid courses or they offered paid websites in which I had to pay a monthly fee and I just didn't have the money to. You know, as a student, I really didn't have the money to pay all of these technologies because I also had this hefty tuition. Therefore, I want to present to you guys the best student developer pack that I found online and it's free, which is super amazing. Actually, funny story, I actually didn't hear about the student developer pack until after I graduated from college. So I'm actually pretty regretful that I couldn't use a student developer pack in college because when I was in college, I had a lot of these resources that I paid for and they definitely would have helped me a lot, save a lot more money and also become just a better engineer in general if I had known about these 
resources. So with the student pack, there's actually a bunch of resources and technologies within the student pack. So after sharing with you guys, I wanted to tell you guys about a few of the things that I find the most beneficial to me and I think will be helpful to check out. There's various tools that can help you whether you're trying to take programming classes or whether you're trying to create a website or even a startup. So drum roll please. The pack is called the GitHub Education Student Developer Pack. And this pack is available to all students who currently have a school email address or if you're maybe out of college, but you still have your school email address, you can still try to apply. So you basically just make a GitHub account. If you don't already have a GitHub account, please make one. Um, so you basically just connect your GitHub account with this student developer pack and you have a student membership. As you can see with the student pack, there's a ton of different technologies and resources that are discounted or free that you can use within the student developer pack. And I would highly recommend looking through them, just looking through some of the things that you can possibly do and looking through some of the things that you might want to do. There's tons of different categories from game development, to web development, to even resources about productivity or taking free online courses. This pack legit has everything that you might need as a student developer. And I highly recommend you guys taking some time after this video to check it out. So let's get on to what resources I find the most beneficial within student pack. When I was talking about IDEs before, like a lot of people ask me what IDE to use. There's a ton of IDEs out there. There's like Atom, Sublime, VS Code. But as a new programmer, I highly recommend the JetBrains pack. So JetBrains creates a bunch of IDEs IDs for new programmers, and some of these are called IntelliJ, which is for coding in Java, or PyCharm, which is coding in Python. And so I really like these packs when I first use them because they give you a lot of guidance when you're coding. So basically have a lot of autocorrect options, basically have a lot of kits or web packs that you can include with them. And they give you a lot of like really easy to use user experience to guide you along better as a programmer. So the second thing I recommend is learning anything with web development. And one of them is the Flatiron School. So Flatiron School is a bootcamp and it's pretty good. They give you one month for free, which is amazing. And so I highly recommend taking this one month free in order to learn as much web development as you can and also getting the motivation to learn it by yourself because a lot of these things you just take motivation. A lot of computer science you can actually learn by yourself online, but it just takes the motivation to, for you to get there and that first step. And I highly recommend web development. I think everyone or every programmer, even if you're an engineer not in programming, should learn web development because say you want to make a website or a startup or you want to sell a business, anything needs a website. So make sure to check that out for learning web development. Along with this, I highly recommend getting the free year of Namecheap domain name. So what's this? So basically when you first create a website and you first code it, you have something to show for, but you don't really have anything to host it or an actual domain address. So basically with Namecheap, you can actually get a one year for free of a domain address. Usually you would have to go to GoDaddy or somewhere like that and actually buy a domain address and basically pay per year. But with Namecheap and the subscription, you can actually get one for free and that's super cool. And then you can also host with GitHub Pages, which is really awesome because they provide free hosting and voila, you have your own first website. And lastly, if you're into game development, I highly recommend checking Unreal Engine. So Unreal Engine is a industry standard technology in order to create video games. And you can create desktop games, you can create VR games, you can create 3D games. Even if you're not in game development, I highly recommend checking it out too because then you'll get an aspect into how game development actually works. Also, make sure to comment below which technology or resource from the student pack work the best for you or is the most beneficial to you. And also if you have any questions, because I realized I didn't go through all the resources that are used, there's tons more of even more helpful resources that are on the GitHub pack that I didn't go over today. So make sure to comment below, like if you have any questions or if you are thinking about a specific uh, type of development, but not sure how where to start, make sure to comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like for that YouTube algorithm and also subscribe for more YouTube videos.